Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making an inclined, ice dyed center burst shirt. My shirt has been washed, dried, soaked in soda ash, wrung out in my panda spin dryer, and so it's just barely damp. I also have my shirt turned to inside out. For this shirt, I'm going to put the design on both the front and the back. So I want to go ahead and center my shirt where the center of the front of my shirt and the center of the back of my shirt are up next to each other. What that will do is it will give more of a symmetrical look between both of the front halves of the front of the shirt and both of the halves of the back of the shirt. So to do that, I've tucked one sleeve inside of the other and I lined my seams up so that they lay nice and flat. Then I'm just lifting my shirt up off of the table and kind of shaking it. And I'm taking the middle of the front and the middle of the back of the shirt and putting them up next to each other. So if you see like down the front of the shirt, there is a seam right down the front and there's a seam right down the back of the middle of both of those. And I'm putting those next to each other. I'm also smoothing out any of the seams or lines down inside of the shirt so that it lays nice and flat. So on top right now is the front of the shirt and on the bottom is the back of the shirt. This shirt is kind of soft so it's wrinkling up a little bit more. So that's what you see me doing is I already have it centered. I'm just working with it to make sure I get as many of those wrinkles out as I can to make it real smooth. Okay, so I'm going to fold my shirt in half again. So I'm going to take the bottom of my shirt and fold it up to the neck area of my shirt. Again, I'm going to smooth out any of the wrinkles and try to make it as smooth as possible. Then I want to draw a partial circle on this very corner of my shirt where all the folds come together. So I'm using my roll of masking tape and a washable marker and I'm just going to draw part of a circle onto my shirt. So just an arc right here on this corner. Then I'm going to fan fold this. Since I have quite a few layers of fabric and the arc is pretty small, I'm not going to get a whole lot of fan folds out of this area. Then I'm going to tie it up with some kite string and fan fold the rest of the shirt. I'm trying to keep my fan folds kind of large on this one.
Once I have my shirt tied up, I'm going to go ahead and lay it aside for about a day or so and let it go ahead and dry out a little bit. Okay, now my shirt is dry and it's time to start dyeing. So I have my shirt down inside of a piece of plastic guttering, down inside of a plastic tub. The end of the guttering is hanging over the edge of the tub, so my shirt is at an incline, probably about a 40 to 45 degree incline. At the very end where I drew that initial line, I am gonna put Dragon Fruit from Dharma Trading Company, followed by a line of Orchid from Dharma Trading Company. I'm using Raspberry from Pro Chemical and Dye. and Plum from Pro Chemical and Dye. Followed by Dharma's Razzle Dazzle. A little bit more of the plum. And I'm going to end with some raspberry. Then I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top of my shirt. I do this so that my shirt has plenty of soda ash left in it after the ice melts and runs throughout the shirt. Then I'm going to put a generous layer of ice on top. I'm going to set my shirt aside and let the ice melt and let it go ahead and process for probably about 24 hours. So I came back 24 hours after all my ice on the front side had melted and this is what my shirt looked like. As you can see there is still some dye left on the front. I probably could have just added another layer of ice onto my shirt, forced some of this dye that's left on top on through my shirt. However, I just decided I would go ahead and turn my shirt over and add another thin layer of dye to the back side. Because I'm doing this as an incline dye, I wasn't as concerned about getting my colors lined up exactly perfect where I had put them the first time. So I am going to put the same colors on the back side of my shirt, but it's very difficult as you can see to tell where the colors were originally on the front side.
After I put another thin layer of my colors on the front, I'm gonna load on a little bit more soda ash and ice and let it continue to process. I'm gonna let it process for another 24 hours after the ice on this second side melts. All right, so this is what our shirt looks like. I really like the effect that an inclined die gives. Listen, if you guys are enjoying watching my videos, I sure would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.